Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my new screen door. Okay, so this is a brand new screen door which I installed like a week ago. Okay, because it had come time to replace the old one. The old one was very old, it had come time to replace it. The old one was rusted, it was um, well worn out. So, so this is my new screen door. I actually got two of these, one for the front and one for the back as well. So I'll show you the back one, but I'm just going to show you the front one right now. Okay, so this door here I got from Bunnings and I actually had it delivered to the house. Okay, and the same apply for the other one. So this door here cost $220, okay, plus the postage, which unfortunately wasn't free, which is annoying, but but there you go. But this is the door here, okay. So I'll take a closer look at it. As you can see, this door here has this nice um, guard in it, okay. So these are referred to as security screen doors or um, crim safe probably. Okay, it's got a fly screen in here. Okay, that's just to stop flies from getting in. Okay, it's got this nice white frame. Okay. All right, now the door did not come with a lock, but that's not a problem because I had the lock from my old door. Which is, This is a Whipco Tasman MK2. Okay, which I had on the old door and I just transferred it to this new one. Okay, and another thing that I did with this as well is I um, put three point locking on it, as you can see. It's got a top and bottom lock, okay? Now, you might remember the video that I did on the Whipco Tasman three-point locking kit. Okay, and that's what I and that's what I bought that for. Okay, so um, so when this is locked, the top and bottom part lock into the frame up here and down there, and that gives it extra security. Okay, now the lock here is running on, on a standard, my standard house key, which is LW5, okay? This type of lock here uses a Euro profile cylinder, of course. Okay, so this is the MK2 Tasman made by Whipco. All right, so um, so right now it's in the unlocked position, so you can turn the handles and you can go into the house. Okay, to lock the lock, okay, every time you turn this key, the bottom part protrudes and the top part protrudes. Okay, I'll unlock it, it retracts, protrudes. Okay, I'll show you the bottom one there. So, unlocked, locked. Okay, now be aware that it only locks when you actually key lock it. If you turn the snib, like this, the latches don't protrude. Okay, they stay retracted when you use the snib. Okay, the only way to get them to extend is to actually key lock it and deadlock it. Okay, so when it is key locked, the lock is deadlocked. Okay, so that means the snib becomes rigid and you can't can't um, unlock it. You actually have to have a key to unlock it. Okay. All right, so, um, so we'll close this. Okay, I'm gonna lock it. Okay, so now the door is locked. Okay, the top latch is locked into the frame and the bottom one is locked in too okay as well as the latch in the middle okay so the door is now locked okay when that is locked this prevents people from trying to pull the door open or force it so it gives it more more strength and also you've got three hinges as well so it's hinged in the on the top middle and bottom of the door all right Okay, so the, this is a Whipco Tasman MK2. The reason I went with the Whipco is because it's a good lock. Okay, Whipco's are quite good. Okay, and the Whipco Tasman MK2 is kind of a very is a very good screen door lock. You tend to see a lot of them. Okay, and this is the inside part where you have just two screws holding your handle on. Okay. Okay, so this is the front. So what we'll do now is I'll take you around the um the back and I'll show you the back one. Now before I do, I'll just show you that I've got a door closer on it, so the door closes automatically. All right, so now we'll go around the back and I'll show you the back one. Okay, I'll unlock the back door. And I did switch the locks around in here as well. Okay, so here's the one on the back door. It's here, once again, it's the same thing, okay? We have the same lock, Whipco Tasman MK2, and it does have three-point locking, as you can see here and down there. Okay, so, um, so this is the one on the back. Okay, now this is actually our first screen door that we've had on the back, so you know, there's bits of soot on the handles. We've had unclean rain, and apparently it's gotten the handles dirty. Okay, so now the door is closed. Okay, and it's got three-point locking as well. Okay, so I'll just um, show you that. I'll use my leg to hold the door. So we insert the key, we turn it, and the three-point locking on the bottom pops out, and on the top, I'll unlock it. A bit hard to do. There we go, unlocked. All right. Okay, so that's the one on the back. Okay, and it's the exact same thing. So there's no difference between this and the front. Okay, now this one here, I actually had to um, I actually had to do a little modification because the door frame was too narrow. So I actually had to cut section off the top here and off the bottom to get it to fit. Okay, so 
But other than that, it works. Okay, it's a screen door. It does you provide good security. Okay, it keeps unauthorized people out of the house, that's for sure. All right, so we'll come back out the front. All right, so this is what it looks like from the inside. Okay, and um, and so on the inside here, I can simply just snip it to lock it. Okay, but be aware it does not lock the three-point locking. To lock it from the three-point locking, I actually have to use the key and deadlock it. Okay, now the three-point locking is locked. Okay, and the lock is deadlocked. Okay, to unlock it, I just need to turn the key the other way. Okay, now it's unlocked. Okay, so there you go. So I'll give you a look at the lock here as well. Okay, so that's the MK2 Tasman made by Whipco. The top lock there and the bottom. Okay, so that's basically it. So that is my, my new screen door. So I hope you enjoyed and that'll be it.